、外国人と楽しく話してるのですが、途中で、あ、実際に伝わったかなえー、ちょっとなんか違うな。Alright, so, so tell me, so you taught someone, right? So what, what, what did you talk about? What did you teach them? Yes, I taught them. Mm, free conversation. Okay. I teach natural way. Okay. Ate na kese re. Do you mind this? Sono ba wai wa, watashi no ego te ate ru? Chizen ni ii kata wa nani? To kiki tain da kido ego de nan to yee ba yin de shou ka? Oku no kata wa. Oh, sir. Is my English correct? Ah,、uh, yeah. Maybe. Is my English correct? Is that the correct word? とか言うのですが、実はそれはあんまりおすすめできないです。皆さん、こんにちは。アーサーです。今回の動画では、自分の英語が合ってるかどうかを確認したいときにおすすめのフレーズをご紹介します。よろしくお願いします。So, here's the problem. When we're talking in English, but it doesn't seem to make sense, we want to know if what we've said is correct. But if you ask a native speaker directly, is my English correct? What's the correct way to say it? Sometimes they'll teach you the correct way to say it, but sometimes they'll actually teach you something different. Eh, Asa, what is it? Here's the thing if the person you're talking with is a trained English teacher, they can probably tell you the correct, the natural way to say things. But native speakers don't talk from their logic, they don't talk from their minds. They talk from their sense, they talk from their heart. And so they're not even really aware of what they're talking about. And so a lot of times they're not really aware of what they say. They think they say one thing, but they actually say something different. But if you ask them directly, what is the correct way? Well, it gets their mind into the logic mode and they'll teach you something different. So, Alex, I have a question. When someone says thank you,、uh-huh. what, how do you respond? I would usually say welcome, you're welcome.、Okay. Or,、uh... All right, well, Alex, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. No problem, no problem.、Okay. Right. If you want to check if your English is correct and know the natural way to say things, we have to ask questions in a way that gets around this logic mode, that gets into people's senzai ishiki, that gets into their subconscious to teach you what they really say. And so, for that, here are five questions that can help you. The first two are Is that the right word? Is that the right way to say it? Yeah, I understand what you're thinking, but these small changes can lead to a big difference. You see, the word correct is kind of katakurushi, it's a very formal word, and it's associated with tests. This is the correct answer. This is wrong! Correct, 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 correct. But the word right is connected with your sense, with your feeling. You know, a lot of times people will say they don't know the correct answer, they just go with what feels right. And so instead of saying correct but saying the word right, we can kind of get into that sense feeling for them. Is that the correct word?、Uh, no, that, that doesn't feel right. Oh, sir.、Mm-hmm. Is that the right word?、Uh, well, kind of, but I would say. Oh, sir. Is that the right way to say it? Um, yeah, I mean, you could say that. You could also say the next two questions are what would you say or how would you say that? These two phrases get the person to think about, well, what they would really say. But because you use the word would, which is kateho, it gets people to imagine the situation, to think about it, to think about the image in their mind. So you're more likely to get an accurate answer. What would you say? Uh, you know, if it was me, I would say. And the final phrase is, what sounds more natural? Instead of saying, what is more natural or what is natural, the word sounds is more kind of a subjective feeling. It's just based on the other person's feeling. If you say is, people think, but when you use sounds, it refers to their sense, to their feeling, to kind of what they're feeling right here. What sounds more natural? Well, you know, if you said it this way, it would be more natural. ま、
I started Uconnect because I wanted to help people not just learn English, but use it as a tool to connect with people in the real world. え、ほとんどの英会話コンテンツはフレーズとか文法だけにフォーカスするんですが、実際に使えるようになることはあんまりフォーカスされません。And that's why we're here. あなたは英語を学ぶだけではなく実際に使えるようになりたいと思っている場合はぜひ Uconnect をご覧ください。そのためにいろんなコンテンツ、いろんな活動がありますので詳しくは you can click up here and get our free guide or you can click the link in the description box below. ではまとめに入りましょう。One, the key point is to not ask someone's logic but ask their feelings. We need to ask in a way that reaches their subconscious. Two, instead of using the word correct, use the word right. Like, is that the right word? Is that the right way to say it? Three, have them think about their situation by asking them, what would you say? How would you say that? And finally, get them to think about the sense by asking, What sounds more natural? Anyways, 今回のレッスンで以上となります。お役に立てたらとても嬉しいです。忘れないでください。英語は勉強するための科目ではなく、世界の方々とつながるためのツールです。ぜひ、今回学んだことを使って、一緒に世界とつながりましょう。See you next time! Ah, we did it! How we did it! Did it, did it! Boom, 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 bo